In this tutorial, it is assumed that the switcher is fully installed and powered up and all networking information has been configured. The tutorial will take you through the assignment of nodes to the suites, moving resources between suites, and saving engineering files. In the menu, select Engineering Setup Status Page. Verify that all items, menus, and panels are communicating to the frame and have the correct software loaded. Mismatched software will be displayed with red text. If the status display is not correct, or if the menu displays no frame com, refer to the startup tutorial. From the engineering setup status menu, note that all of the attached panels and menus are assigned to control surface 1A. If your system will be used with two suites, some panels and menus will normally need to be moved to the second suite. Typically, if there is only one suite with only one panel and one menu, these will be in suite 1A by default, and no resource acquisition is required. Panels and menus can be added or moved later if needed as the switcher is always operating as if two suites exist. To assign menus or panels to a second suite, select the Node Settings submenu and the Control Surfaces tab. This will display the list of nodes and IP addresses for all items installed in this system. If a panel or menu node is not listed here, it will need to be entered into the list and assigned to a suite. All panels and menus must be listed in the node list to be able to operate in the correct suite. The default suite names are Suite 1 and Suite 2. These names can be changed in the Frame, Suite, Nodes and ID tab if desired. Choose the Suite Surface button to select a different suite or control surface for the selected node. Each suite can also have two control surfaces, A and B, in case there is a need for two panels in the same suite and each panel needs different settings, such as source button layouts. When a change is made in this menu, any node affected will need to be restarted. A message reminding the user that the node will need to be restarted is displayed when leaving the node settings menu. When operating with two active suites, the various resources required will need to be allocated as needed to each suite. The allocation is performed by logging into the suite where the resource exists, releasing the resource, logging into the second suite, and then acquiring the resource. Note that changing resources can affect operations in the suite that has the resource and if a switcher is in use when a resource is released, it can adversely affect the suite operation. A warning message will appear when entering the acquired resource menu or changing the suite's identity to remind the user of this fact. To show an example of this, first select Engineering Login and verify that the menu is in the correct suite. In this case, Suite 1. If the menu is not in the correct suite, select Change Identity and choose the suite where the needed resource is currently acquired. Select Yes to the warning message. Next, select Acquire Resources and select Yes to the warning message. Resources that can be moved between suites include mix effects banks, background generators, IDPM channels, the EDPM, and any external controlled devices such as video servers, PBUS devices, image store channel pairs, clip store channels, and any controlled cameras or router destinations. Select the resource to be released, in this case ME3, and press Release. Another warning message is shown as a reminder that releasing a resource will result in that resource going off-air, and any effect information related to that resource will be lost if it has not been saved. 
For example, releasing ME3 will delete any EMEM effects that use ME3 that have not been saved to a storage location. Press OK if you are sure that you wish to proceed. The resource is released. Return to the Engineering Login menu and change identity of the menu to the second suite. Confirm with Yes to the warning message. Reselect the Acquire Resources menu, confirm Yes to the warning message, and verify that the new suite is now selected. Choose the location where the resource is to be acquired, in this case the program ME, and select the available resource. The resource will be acquired in the new suite and will immediately be available for use as the program ME. The full ME resources are labeled A, B, C, and D and relate to the physical position of the hardware in the frame. The half ME, also referred to as ME50, has limited functionality and is an option for Carrera switchers. Any of the ME hardware available can be used in any of the logical ME locations as the program preset ME or ME1 through ME4. The release and acquire process is required whenever resources need to be moved between suites. Note that changing the identity of the menu to be in a different suite from the engineering logon menu is only temporary. Subsequent menu or switcher restarts will return the menu to its assigned suite as defined in the node settings, control surfaces menu, and as displayed on the status screen. Note also that the resource allocation information is normally part of the engineering setup file. Loading an engineering setup file will change the resource assignment to the acquired resource state that is in the engineering setup file being loaded. It is a good practice to save the engineering files separately from any other files to prevent accidental loss of unsaved effects. User effects should also be saved often as a precaution. Saving switcher engineering setup information can be performed from the engineering save load menu. There is a choice of two storage locations, the system storage tab or remote storage tab. System storage is located on the compact flash card located in the frame. This location is a useful place to store a backup engineering file as it is available from all suites. Remote storage is remote from the frame, but local to the computer running the menu. This is referred to as the menu PC. The selected path is displayed at the top of the storage location pane. The menu PC file location on the C drive will be in the GV switcher user folder. This folder is automatically created when the software is installed on the menu PC. Top directory and up directory buttons provide navigation within the available storage locations. The remote storage location could be the menu PC's internal storage, any storage attached to the PC such as a local USB device, or any network location that the menu PC is connected to. To save the engineering file, choose a location, in this case, the menu C drive training folder. Select file name and name the file, in this case, eng test. Choose which items to save from the list in the right hand pane. The default is all items. Press save. The engineering file will be saved to the selected folder. To reload an engineering file, simply select the file and press load. The status bar will show the load progress. Remember that if the resource assignment in the engineering setup file is different from the current state of the system, effects can be lost when the resources are reacquired. A warning message will be displayed when loading engineering setup files indicating that unsaved files will be lost if the resource acquisition is changed. If the resource is acquired, do not change when loading an engineering setup file. Any unsaved effects will remain unchanged.
If operating with only one suite, all resources are by default in Suite 1 and there is no need to use Suite 2. Partial file loads can also be performed by selecting the items required from the saved file before pressing load. Buttons exist to copy and paste files to different file locations, create folders and rename files or folders.